My name is Emily, and I'm a member of the Project Baseline team at Verily. We're in the middle of a global health pandemic with COVID-19. Increasing access to testing is a really important part of helping to stop the spread of COVID-19. I'm here on site at one of our testing locations to show you how it works. First, take an online screener. The first step is to complete an online screener based on guidelines from public health officials. The screener helps prioritize testing needs based on a number of criteria, like exposure to cases of coronavirus, at-risk locations or occupations, symptoms, previous health conditions, or age. Next, get an appointment. If you've qualified for testing, you'll receive a confirmation email with your reference ID number. Our team will then reach out to confirm appointment details, including the time and location of the test. Most testing sites are drive through so we recommend arriving a few minutes before your appointment. Then, take the test. At testing sites, there are three stations, an appointment check, a reference ID matching, and a sample collection. In station one, you'll be instructed to show your documents, keeping your windows closed. This ensures that this step is done as safely as possible. Once your appointment is confirmed, you'll drive to station two. Healthcare staff will match your reference ID with a lab kit and attach the information to your windshield. You'll then drive to station three, which is the sample collection area. You'll be asked to roll down your window and tilt your head back for a nasal swab. Finally, you'll get your results. Your samples will get shipped to a lab to be analyzed. You'll receive the results about two to four days after testing, but this may take longer due to lab capacity. If you test positive, you'll get a phone call by a qualified healthcare professional. If you test negative, you'll receive an email. Those are the main steps to our program. We're working hard to expand testing as quickly as we can. Visit projectbaseline.com slash COVID-19 for updates.